Okay, today I wanted to just talk about how I have started developing my flight bag. I've actually gone through quite a few bags to try to figure out what's the best to carry. One of the options is obviously to use a normal um, aviator helmet bag and you can fit all kinds of stuff in there just fine. So the normal helmet bag is actually a pretty good option for a lot of reasons. However, I, I just, I never really truly liked it. It didn't seem to fit all my stuff and I always felt like things were getting crushed. So I ended up finally settling on the 511 bag. I've gone through a couple other different versions of bags as well. I really tried to start out with as small as possible. So bag aside, these are the minimum things that I need to carry. In-flight guide, checklist, uh, knee pad, iPad, headset. So that's it. And obviously all these things will fit just fine inside of a helmet bag. And so helmet bag will carry everything just fine. And in fact, you could stick things here and it hangs up really nicely on the side of the cockpit. However, I just, it just still wasn't enough. And uh, the biggest thing is it didn't have any good spots for a lot of the other little knickknacks and things that I really wanted. So I ended up nixing the helmet bag. Moving on to a several, several other iterations. So what I finally settled on is the 511 Rush 24. So this is um, when they're medium sized bags. And this bag is about eight years old, has been around the world a couple of times, back and forth to the desert many, many times, and on many, many local sim simulator uh, missions. So it's been kind of beat up and uh, used and abused a little bit, and yet, I still think it's actually in really good shape. There's a couple of frays coming out in different little places here and there, but overall it's a pretty good bag. So what I kind of generally typically do when I'm flying around is I have the big main pocket here, which is where I shove a lot of my stuff. And I didn't like having my headset in there. So I ended up getting one of these little pouches and I searched high and wide to find one that wasn't too bad that actually fit a Bose headset. And to be honest with you, I still don't think this one's good enough. And the biggest reason is because when I'm trying to get out of the seat really quickly, it's not easy to just shove things into this and get going. And that's one of the reasons I do like a backpack over something a little bit smaller. It's because when I am trying to get out of there or just trying to get out of the airplane really quickly, I don't want to spend all this time trying to stick things into their little particular pockets and everything. I just kind of want to shove it all in and go and get going. And so that's what this bag does it allow me to do. Now, while the main stuff that I'm required to carry all the time fits in fairly well and pretty easy, there's always something else extra that I need to carry. Like sometimes I'll carry a GoPro mount and so I want to be able to shove a GoPro mount in there. Um, I'll have maybe two or three of these sometimes. And so there's always something that else that needs to go in here, or maybe a jacket, or a lot of times I'll carry a second headset just in case. So that way I have a backup because if one of the, if the first one goes down, I, I should be able to grab this. And that's something that I don't like doing with the helmet bag or some of the other smaller bag-ish options that I had tried. So, one thing in particular that I also like to carry is some gouge or some paperwork, magazines for reading. Um, I always have my handy clipboard in here. So the clipboard I usually keep back here. And so this little pocket works out great for holding um, just various papers and, and items that uh, might need to be in here that could be safe. A lot of times if I do go on a longer trip or a mission or something, I, I wanna take along a laptop. So I'll put a laptop back here, which is partially what this is designed to do. Or I'll stick some of the iPads in here because it's easier to get to the iPad. Because once this is open, even if it's a little bit up, unfortunately, there's this big lip right here. And so shoving things in doesn't always work. And uh, especially like the iPad, will kind of get jammed in there with some other stuff. So once you start putting in cameras or GoPro mounts or just extra magazines and stuff, it kind of gets a little unswirly. And so therefore I, I like a bigger bag. Um, I also like to have a bag with straps, so the backpack style, instead of carrying it like a handle. 
I like the straps because I can keep it on my back and it leaves my other two hands free to carry like a grocery bag, open doors, or carry my luggage, which usually will hold all my uh, clothes and stuff. So starting from the front here, again, <clears throat> I try to keep my headset here. A lot of times it's a little too tight to put the headset back in here. And so a lot of times I'll end up just shoving it in here and to the top. <clears throat> But for general purpose, it's in here and it's easy to pick out and grab. After that, I have like, there's an admin pocket right here, which is pretty good. And you can see here, I have some recording equipment and extra camera. Um, I keep in some normal things like the flashlight that we were, you should always have, pens, pencils, paper, um, and that kind of thing is in this pocket. And then I like to try to have the bag set up so that when it's dark and I can't see, such as when we're in the bunk room and trying to sleep, I don't want to wake somebody else up by rummaging around the bag too much. So I try to have things kind of dedicated to that. So I have a little pocket here and this has some snacks, but it also has usually my cables and cords and stuff. So things for my iPad, um, an extra charger or whatnot, just in case I can't find any juice. And then over here, I usually keep things like a uh, extra set of earplugs and a sleeping mask so that I can sleep without, you know, in the plane or where I'll, wherever I might be. And my little reflective belt for those few occasions that I uh, wear. Um, what I do like also is I'll have the inside set up with some more things. So I have some more um, cables and such here. And then I have some other things like utensils. I always have a backup set of sunglasses because I can't fly without sunglasses. It just doesn't work out very well for me. This bag in particular has another This bag in particular also has another pocket right here, which is pretty cool. And then what is kind of cool is down at the very bottom, it has this little pocket here so you can shove some things in. And I keep an extra hat just in case I lose one, because that happens all the time. Um, but you can also shove these things in here if you needed to, and it kind of stays out of the way of other things that are going on, so it doesn't always get shoved together. It doesn't come all the way up, and it's kind of good and it's kind of bad. It, it provides an extra pocket that I sometimes use. Now, one thing I really love about this bag, and I thought I would like some of the other bags, because I used the covert version of this bag for a while, and the reason I used the covert version of this bag is so it looked a little more normal, but the covert version has regular water bottle pockets out here on the outside. And this one has these pockets that are in here. And so these have turned out to be f phenomenal for holding water bottles and mugs and stuff. And they fit a good sized water bottle pretty, pretty decently and it keeps it nice and safe. And I like it like that because now I know the bag gets turned over, flipped upside down, falls down. None of this stuff is going to fall out. And it's, it's much nicer to me to have something like this than um, a mesh pocket. Speaking of which, this is a Camelback Groove. I don't think they sell these anymore. But this thing has been a lifesaver because it has the filter right here and here. I got to say, it allows me to drink water that doesn't taste super nasty because a lot of times we get water from whatever the local source might be and you have no idea if it's just somebody who took a hose and put it into the igloo. And so therefore I like to have filtered water just because it tastes better. Even the water at home station pretty much tastes terrible. So I don't, I feel comfortable using that groove to at least make sure that the water tastes better and is uh, probably a little bit, I like to use that water at home station even just to make sure it's a little bit filtered and tastes better and a little bit safer. So just because we don't know what it is. On this side of the bag, I also have a little extra bag pouch where I have some emergency necessities. So some of the things I always find myself wondering if I have is um, alcohol wipes, just medicines. There's always somebody who needs ibuprofen or some kind of antacid. Um, so every once in a while you just need a uh, some kind of fork or spoon. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten that or pen. Batteries has been a huge one. I have little toothbrushes here, just those little emergency ones that you can you can grab because when you're flying around for hours and hours on ends, you like to kind of stay fresh.
And a lot of times I like to use chopsticks because they make an excellent backup source of utensils. These are broken, so I'm just going to chuck them. But I can't tell you how many times I've been able to use chopsticks because they're easier to carry than these plastic forks. They don't break as easily usually. I mean, even the wooden ones. And um, you just put them together and you can eat almost anything, obviously, obviously not soups. Coming back on the other side here, I have another pocket where I usually keep my coffee mug. And then I've added this little dump pouch here that people use for shooting and stuff. But what I use this little pouch for is to hold a lot of the snacks and things. So some kind of emergency food. And so that's another thing I've found that I have like to have with this bag is I'll shove a lot of food in here. And that's part of what gets everything messed up. Um, you know, I'm shoving all my checklists and my iPad and everything else, but then uh, I need something else like camera gear or food or something that just gets shoved in here. So I did this little dub pouch in here just to kind of mitigate some of that, save some space somewhere else. But when it's not in use, it kind of just folds up here nice and smooth and I have something that's easy. But normally, oh, I need some space. I can just take this and I can shove it in there. A lot of times what happens is I'll get a flight kitchen meal and I won't eat everything but I want to save like one or two things like the extra apple or whatnot. And so I'll just throw it inside this little dump pouch here. And uh, that way I can keep, keep the stuff. Or if I have extra camera equipment that I'm using and I'm not eating extra lunch or whatever, I'll, I, can, I just have an extra space to shove some things. So all that shove it stuff is kind of nice. Up here is really nice too, because it's a good place to stick sunglasses. I mean, a lot of the bags have this and I found it pretty indispensable because I'll throw a couple of uh, earplugs and glasses up here all the time so that I always have a backup here. I feel pretty good because they don't usually get crushed or anything in this little spot and they're fleece lined so that's pretty nice. I still would like some other options for this bag. Um, it's a little floppy which is fine. I have been looking into the amp series to see if I can get something I'll hold a headset better but I, it still doesn't really have anything that's too great. When it's sitting upright it'll flop down pretty badly. Um, or if this wasn't here at all, it would just fall down. And that's all fine normally for different various uses of this kind of bag and such. And it's a little bit older, so it's a little bit more broken in. I wouldn't say worn out, just broken in. Um, but I would like something a little bit easier to hold my headset, something bigger, something more padded. And then I wanna be able to put things in and out of here so that the iPad and all the other things have their own little like kind of pockets. So I've been searching for some better options for a bag that would still carry all these other extraneous things that you almost don't think about. But when um, you're flying around and you need something, it's nice to know that it's probably somewhere in here. And so that's kind of how I set up this bag. The other way I use this bag is not only do I carry my flight gear in it, um, but when we go to the hotel on a mission, I will take the flight gear out and I will use that as my bag to carry a lot of the extra stuff that doesn't fit into my luggage. And so I always have this bag with me and that's why it's set up so that I even have extra chargers and stuff so that in the hotel room I have those chargers. And I wanna always have access to those because sometimes the luggage gets uh, tied down someplace else. And I don't wanna have to go digging through my big luggage when I need important items like this. So I try to keep all the useful things in here that I would need in flight and in a hotel. And so there's my current bag setup.